Hello guys, welcome to Chinta School of Statistics and Data Science. We are a team of extremely passionate teachers, researchers and statisticians from the top universities of India and USA. Our mission is to help you curve your career in statistics, data science and machine learning. How do we do that? Number one, we help you build your foundations. We achieve that by making an optimized plan for your learning journey. Number two, we help you prepare and ace your entrance examinations in statistics and data science, like IIT Jam MS, ISIM STAT, and CMI MSA data science. Number three, we give our absolute best to help you design your career by organizing workshops and certified data science courses. Modern after a certain time, this is you will not never find this in literature in any book. Okay, I have just like tried to make this up myself so that it help you. It helps you to understand there exists certain I know certain aim. Uh, such that for all n greater than equal to m, a n is monotone. That means after a certain time, it's monotone. That's interesting. So, what happens if a sequence is not monotone? How can a sequence go towards the limit? It can either go like this. So, this is this is the question I am addressing today. How can a sequence go like this? It can go like this. It can go like this. This is monotone bounded. It can go like this, I have shown. Right. It can also go like this. Still, it's monotone after a certain time. Understand. Blue is monotone after a certain time. Monotone after dot dot dot. Black is. Monotone. Of course, these are bounded because we are assuming it's a convergence. So, of course, all of them are bounded. Okay. But after bounded, what happens? This is bounded is the first criteria. Okay. After that, what happens? Then you check like monotone or bound. Now, the final thing is that what happens? Have we already seen an example? Examples like this. Where it's bounded but not monotone. So I call this because it's oscillatory. After a certain time, it becomes like this can become like this. You can find functions like this. Okay. But this is more than after a certain time. This is not oscillatory, fully oscillatory. So fully oscillatory are like this. There are no other type of functions that you can have that can converge to this. Right. Either after a certain time. Uh, the the sequence will be monotone after a certain time it will be like it will totally monotone after a certain time it will be monotone or it's not monotone that means what if it's not monotone that means after a certain time it's already oscillating like up and down up and down up and down that means after a certain every single time it's oscillating up down up down up down up down like since it's monotone after a certain time that means it's oscillatory so therefore this three type of sequences are there that is very important that can converge okay that can converge if it's not bounded then of course it is either the to so that's where the the picture comes up okay so it's either in sequence a n so first we check bounded or not if it's not bounded something happens but if it's bounded then we check if it's monotone or not Check this criteria. These are very important. If it's monotone, when we understood it's convergent. If it's not monotone, then we check something else. Is it monotone after a certain time? Yes or no? If it's a motor of certain time, it's like a motor of certain after a certain time and bounded. So therefore it's convergent. If it's not motor after a certain time, it's oscillatory. Fully oscillatory. Now the idea is oscillation, like when it will converge. The idea is that you will learn this. This is something called limb sub means. And you will learn this that it's nothing but it's called oscillation. Okay. It's like this height of oscillation. There's a mathematical way to count it. Is it decreasing or de increasing or decreasing? That's called oscillation height. 
if it's decreasing to zero, you can decrease it to one. If it decreases to one, how will it look like? So this length is constant. If the oscillation length, the height is decreasing to one, that means the length is it's not going to zero, but the length is constant. If it decreases zero, example you have found out no. Um, also, an example of oscillation minus one hold to the minus one hold to the power n by one by n, minus one hold to the power n, like minus one one minus one one minus one one. You can see the oscillation height is two. It never goes to zero. Okay. It doesn't converge divergent. It's convergent here. So you can see that this is divergent. What happens if it's unbounded? If it's unbounded, it will either go to infinity, like let's say by infinity, or it can be like it can go to infinity like this also. Going to infinity. It's going to infinity. See there it goes to infinity. Or minus infinity, or else it doesn't converge. Like for example, uh, it's unbounded, right? Like the size is increasing, minus one to the power n times n. Like my this 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 this. Uh, the, it's like if you see in statistics, it's like the variance of the regression is increasing in some sense. Okay. The, the the funnel is in funnel size is increasing. It's like this. Funnel size is increasing. Doesn't converge. And this is interesting. We'll see that if a uh, sequence is divergent, if and only if one by n is going to zero, it's natural because it's going to infinity. That means one by that will go to zero. For example, n is going towards infinity means one by n will go to zero. So that's the basic idea. So therefore, if I say you, so therefore you can say for any convergent sequence, this is one path, or this path, and then this path, and then this path, or then this path. So essentially, you can track back like if it's convergent, which one is it? Is it gives a complete overview of what's happening in a sequence, right? To book a trial class for your preparation courses of IITGM, MS, ISIM, STAR, and CMI, MS, Data Science, check out the first link in the description below. If you're enjoying the video, show some love by liking the video and subscribing to the channel. We welcome you again to this passionate community of budding statisticians and data scientists. Stay tuned and stay blessed.